So hi and welcome back to the next video in the Python 101 video series and as you can see uh, all I've done is created a blank Python file called hello python.py uh, and uh, well just create a file in the Python idle and you'll be ready to go. So once you've done that um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be learning about modules. So what a module is is basically just uh, a file with pre-written code that um, that you can import into Python. Um, there, Python comes with some pre-built ones, but uh, we're going to be creating our own basic one today. So if we go to the Python shell, uh, this is its, uh, I'm just going to import a Python module. So I'm going to say import, uh, and then I'm, since uh, Python, uh, I'm just going to say math. But uh, you can't say maths, it has to be math. Um, so we import maths or math, and then we can do things like sign or um, anything. So, uh, uh, well, we'll leave that for now anyway. So, but that's what it does is when we import a math module, uh, it allows us to do um, special functions. So we'd say math.floor. And then we just uh, put a number in, so I don't know, 6. And uh, it gives us an answer, but we have to have the math part. The math dot just uh, tells Python the uh, module we are, the module it needs to look in. Uh, and then the floor uh, part just tells Python um, which part of the, uh, it, for, it tells it once it's locked in the maths file, it tells us what, it tells it what to look for, and then uh, it get, lets us use it. So um, we're going to create our own, so uh, uh, actually made a mistake, we have to save, go to file save as, and we have to save our, um, our uh, module in the uh, python27 folder, and we just save it in here, and I'm going to call mine hello python. Uh, I saved it in my desktop by accident. So uh, you have to make sure you save it in the Python 27 folder because uh, this is one of the places that Python looks for whenever uh, it looks for custom modules. So uh, we've just saved my module, uh, hello Python, and we're just going to create a function for it. So um, I'm going to say def, and what we're going to say is uh, we could say def hello. Uh, and then uh, we could take one parameter, so it could just be name maybe, and then down here we could just say return uh, hello plus name. So what this is just going to do is say hello and then, okay, we'll say hello comma. Uh, it says hello comma and then uh, whatever the uh, user put into the name parameter. Okay, so there's our uh, function on our Python module. So if we save that, and we go to the Python shell, and we uh, say import. Okay, if we were to type in now, hello, uh, Python dot hello, and I have to put in my name, you'll notice we get an error because hello Python is not defined. So what we need to do is we just need to say import hello python so now uh, once we've done that we've imported our module uh, and then I'll, then we can uh, do things like hello uh, python dot hello so now if I hit enter okay we're having a problem Okay, so uh, what turned out to be the problem is um, I just had to close idle and then reopen it. For some reason, I'm not sure why, but uh, it's probably because I had idle open whenever I uh, saved the uh, method or the... Um, okay, yeah, it was uh, because uh, whenever I saved it to my desktop, if you remember at the start of the video, I went to save as and I saved it in this folder, uh, but I'd already open the idle and in Python if you uh, if uh, when the idle if the idle's already started and you create a module uh, it won't work and uh, 
if you change the module so if I was to change this now and then re-import it it wouldn't uh, work either that's uh, why it was saying the hello uh, attribute didn't exist so what we're going to do now is we'll just type hello python dot hello and then uh, we need to put my name in so uh, I'll just put my name and there we have it it says hello Francis um, we can uh, create more uh, modules so we could or not modules uh, attributes so we could say uh, I don't know add now we could just give take two arguments so num1 num2 so then we could just return num1 plus num2 so now uh, we have to close the uh, python shell again so uh, we close it and we hit f oops f5 uh, which should bring up another one so I'm not going to bother uh, resizing it I'm just going to show you if we say import uh, hello python and we hit enter uh, we get no errors and you can see if we import one that doesn't exist we get errors so uh, ours is definitely imported correctly and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in hello python dot add and we took two parameters and we added them together so three and four and we get seven so uh, that's it for this video don't forget to comment rate or comment like and sub or uh, comment like and subscribe and favorite uh, I would really appreciate that and uh, there's more uh, PHP videos coming soon and I will see you next time uh, bye